We just wrapped up a webinar on quiet quitting and I mentioned something in that webinar that I wanted to share with everybody. How do I not get emotional when someone, an employee or whatever, is giving me honest but really hard to hear feedback? Self-control is an important skill, right? Your success in business is equatable to how much self-control that you have. Well, when I am talking with someone who's got some bad feedback from me, like I screwed up or I'm having issues with my leadership or whatever, getting that and I welcome that open feedback. I want you to know that. I welcome it. I'm glad it's there. Uh, I praise it because I want to hear the bad news. But being able to hear it and not be emotional or take it personally is a really hard thing to do. Here's how you do it. I think of myself as having a better man that I'm competing for and a lesser man inside of me. At this, I'm trying to be in battle with the lesser man, I'm trying to get the lesser man to not exist, to enhance or become the better man that I feel like I can be. So when I'm in that conversation with somebody who feedback, I don't feel like they're attacking me. I feel like they're attacking the lesser man. Hey, I'm in a battle with that person too. I don't like that person either. So how much do you hate that person? That equips me to help me go to battle with that person all day. And if I think about it like that, like they're not attacking the good part of me or the better part of me or the man that I want to become. They're attacking the same person I'm attacking, the lesser man, the, the mistake man, the emotional man, the, you know, the narcissistic man. That helps me balance that out and not get into a position where now I'm personal and I have to defend myself and that kind of stuff. Does that mean that I, I believe everything someone is saying? No, you have to be objective about the feedback they're giving. But if there is a grain of truth to it. If it is an honest assessment and I have a trust that's built up with this person, like they just don't pop off. They've really considered some things and they bring a good, uh, good opinion to the table. Then I'm not going to take it personally when I failed. I'll be the first to admit that I have screwed up and continue to screw up, but it's not because my better man is winning. That's because my lesser man is still winning some of those battles. So that's how I do it. That's how I keep maintain a calmness and not taking it personal when uh, I'm getting that really hard to hear feedback. 